Spending that extra coin on a particular player is often a sign of great faith. Most managers do it with the exception that the player will uh, reward them with great performances. Therefore, the figures mentioned below for the most expensive football transfers should not be a shock, especially with the current global situation. Transfers with massive amounts of money is obvious risky, um, but often come out great. And did the top 10 transfers come out great? Let's see. Starting off with number 10, Gareth Bale, $110.7 million. Even though Gareth Bale suffered severe injuries during his time at Rowe, he popped up with some huge goals and played a part in never adored moments in the team but unfortunately the tragedy that that befell and results in his chance of being characterised among the worst on the list Number 9, Paul Pogba, $115.3 million in 2016. Alex Ferguson did not make many mistakes, but letting Paul Pogba leave was definitely one of them in 2012. But even though Pogba was asked you his question, that did not seem to be a problem in Syria as he became back to be one of the best. Four years later, Manchester United brought in Pogba for a world record sum. Um, and did it work out? I think it's safe to say it didn't really work out uh, with him now leaving on a free back to Juventus again. Oh, the irony. Number 8, Usman Dembele. If there is one team that took a leap of faith and spent over $110 million on a player, it's Barcelona. Today he's categorised among the most expensive German football players. Um, and yeah, having just signed a new contract with the club, it still could work out in time. So starting off, uh, moving on then to number 7, and that's Romelu Lukaku to Chelsea. Tired of struggling without a legendary ch- striker, Chelsea splashed a whopping extra coin to bring Lukaku back to the club. Today, uh, he was considered among the best forwards globally, but he's now left Chelsea after one season after let's just say a rough season and um, moving on into number 6 and that's Jack Grealish for Manchester City Jack Grealish one of the most expensive ballers in Premier League history Manchester City broke the bank for this player to join them um, and yeah I mean like in the first season he had some sort of impact was it quite the impact he was hoping I'm sure but yeah it will take time for him to adapt moving on into number 5 Antoine Griezmann to Barcelona the Griezmann transfer saga still shocked the fans for starters he rejected Barcelona in 2018 a news documentary by Gerald Piquet's company against the team only to sign for the club um, a year later and then he's since gone back to Atletico Madrid yet again another transfer at Barcelona that didn't work out is number 4 Felipe Coutinho Coutinho joined Barcelona from Liverpool in January 2018 in search of trophies and he got the desire when he won two league titles in a row he's still regarded among the most expensive players in Premier League history but now back at Aston Villa in the Premier League and Steven Gerrard it's safe to say that didn't work out moving on then to number 3 and that's Jao Felix uh, Felix is one of the world's most exciting prospects he sealed a move to Atletico in 2019 despite being caught by almost all of European's big clubs in a month before uh, he was made official and Felix is still one of the most expensive transfers ever. Number two Kylian Mbappe to PSG and Mbappe has already won the World Cup and PSG um, made a significant effort to sign him for Monaco in 2018 so even though um, Ronaldo is still considered the best player of all time along with Messi gradually Mbappe is taking over the list um, and yeah I mean like having just signed a new contract and widely considered to be one of the best players in the world probably out Messi in his first season season uh, together at PSG so yeah I think it just shows how brilliant he really is Number one is 244 million for Neymar. Uh, Neymar's move in from PSG was indeed a world record transfer. And yeah, I mean, he was the first player to ever see it. And I can't see the record being broken for a long time. Neymar has since been a prolific player at PSG, taken into glory. Um, and yeah, I mean, like, what can you say? It's been a successful uh, stint at PSG uh, for Neymar. They just need that Champions League to really top it off. So yeah, just looking at the list, really, there have been some successful ones. But for the top 10 players, there's been a lot of flops in there as well. So maybe. It just shows you don't need money to be successful. But anyway, guys, that's it for you. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. Any thoughts, comments down below. If you want to see the for daily football news, subscribe to my channel. Screen now, be greatly appreciated. Thanks for much for watching. Peace out.